With Florida getting embarrassed and humiliated in the swamp by Miami, we got to discuss Billy Napier's future. Because if he loses to UCF in the next couple of weeks, you got to fire him after that game. Because that means you will be 0-2 against the biggest schools in your state. Losing to Miami and UCF would not only damage the perception of Florida football, but it also would hurt them in recruiting. Because if you're a recruit, why would you want to play for Florida if they lose to UCF and they got embarrassed by Miami? It obviously is pretty clear that Billy Napier is in over his skis down there in Florida. The same issues that the Gators had last year being undisciplined, having blown coverages on the back end of their secondary were the same issues that you saw exploited by Miami in this blowout loss. Nothing has changed from this year to last year out of Billy Napier. The play calling is still ultra conservative. I mean, Graham Mertz, once we got to halftime and they were showing the stat comparisons between him and Cam Ward, I mean, it looked like Billy Napier was scared for his life to try to dial up any big plays more than 15 yards downfield. And Miami's defensive line was absolutely wrecking Florida up front. Florida football is in a really dangerous spot right now because they're pretty close to becoming the next Nebraska, which is irrelevant. You know, when you think of Florida you think of the Tim Tebow, the Urban Meyer days, the Steve Spurrier days, if you were alive before I was born and you remember those days. Now, Florida is living off history. They're living off what they used to be. You know, I was arguing on the Bleach Report app with a Florida fan who already named his top two candidates who he wants Florida to go after. He said Dan Lanning and James Franklin. And I said, dude, why the hell would... Any of those two coaches leave their programs to come coach at Florida. Man, you're sleeping on Florida. This is a great job. Yeah, Florida is a great job when you think of where it's at from a location standpoint. You got a lot of access to great Florida talent. But at the same time, Florida isn't as prestigious as a program as what it used to be two decades ago. Florida's trying to get back to 2008, 2009, and they've gone through how many head coaches now? I mean, when's the last time Florida brought in a top five recruiting class? I can't tell you when because it's been a while. Miami, the two years that Mario Cristobal has been able to recruit and bring in his own classes, they've washed Florida out of the water. I mean, Miami's last two recruiting classes have finished in the top 10. Florida consistently finishes outside of the top 10. Last year, they finished with the 13th best recruiting class. Billy Napier, not only is he not cutting it on the field, but he's not cutting it when it comes to talent acquisition. You saw a complete mismatch in this Florida-Miami game. Not only was Miami the more talented team, but they were more well coached, which kind of took a good amount of people by surprise because one of the biggest storylines going into this matchup was Billy Napier and Mario Cristobal. How trustworthy could they be? Who was going to show why their respective fan base should have less confidence in them moving forward? And obviously, Mario Cristobal was being severely disrespected in my eyes because people kind of forgot that crystal ball at Oregon went on the road and beat Ohio State in Columbus without two of his best players in 2021. He's no stranger to playing in big games and coming out on top. Billy Napier is 2-10 and 10 against top 25 teams and with this loss he now drops to 2-11. and 11. You're never going to get back to prominence with Billy Napier being your head coach. And if Florida misses with their next hire, you know, they could really become Nebraska. And Nebraska's on the up and up now. I think they're going to get the seven wins. But Florida's becoming irrelevant 
when it comes to the college football landscape, especially in the SEC. You know, 10 years ago, when someone used to bring up the SEC, the schools that always used to come to mind were Alabama, LSU, and Florida. Now when I think of the SEC, I think of Georgia, who has toppled Florida. They have now become way more prestigious than what Florida is. They now are overtaken by Tennessee who has more momentum than Florida I mean think about all of the programs now who have become consistent staples in the national championship picture and the SEC that have overtaken Florida a few years ago Florida was one of the better programs in the SEC under Urban Meyer they were the gold standard in the SEC but now in the year 2024 Florida now is one of those schools that you look at and you say to yourself, man, they're going to be nothing better but just an average middle of the pack team at best if everything goes right. And in most years, these last two, three years under Billy Napier, they've been one of the worst teams in the SEC. The prestige of Florida has taken a giant hit with Billy Napier at the helm as head coach. And you got to wonder, eventually when is... Florida going to pull the plug on him are you really going to wait to lose the UCF to fire him because you might as well fire him after this game losing 41 to 17 to Miami is not only unexcusable but it's a fireball offense losing to a rival is one thing getting blown out to a rival in your home territory is a different thing you know, Miami just downright came in here and disrespected Florida. They did whatever they wanted to. They couldn't stop Miami's passing attack. They couldn't block and protect Graham Mertz. The offensive line played so bad that Graham Mertz eventually got knocked out of the damn game because they couldn't keep the brother upright. Florida is in really dangerous territory right now because if they miss on another head coach, they really can find themselves in the relevant part of college football where nobody even thinks about Florida anymore. And recruits stop thinking about Florida too because it's just like, you've been down for so many years. Why should I want to play for Florida anymore? And there's a reason why so many of these Florida players keep leaving the state to play for these schools like Ohio State, Georgia, and Alabama because there's no reason for them to stay in state. But now with the reemergence of Miami football, Florida State, even if they do have a down year, you still feel pretty confident about the direction that they're heading under Mike Norvell. And if UCF takes down Florida, where does Florida lie in the Sunshine State hierarchy of Power 4 programs, they probably will be dead last. So once UCF laps you and they overtake you, why would any recruit want to go to play for the Gators when they could play for three other schools that are better than them in the same state? You know, Florida's recruiting is about to take a massive hit, and their perception in my eyes, like... If you play college football at 25, you know in dynasty mode, at the top of when you're selecting your team, there's like stars that you see. And the stars represent prestige. A five-star program means they're super prestigious. They got a lot of history, a lot of tradition. But if you have a year in your dynasty mode when you don't live up to expectations and you have less than the expected win amount, then you lose prestige you can go from a five-star program to a four-star program and right now florida to me has three stars right now they are not as prestigious now as what they used to be in the past you know when i used to think of florida football i used to always think of a team that was in the forefront of contending not only for the sec title but for a national championship but it seems like year after year, the expectations continue to get worse and worse and worse. It's like now, if you're a Florida fan, you're happy if you can just get the six wins. It doesn't matter if you got the toughest schedule in college football. There was a time in college football when Florida was knocking off anybody. It didn't matter how tough their schedule was. Nobody wanted to see Florida. Now it's like you want to play Florida because you know it's going to be an easy win. I can't believe that I've been 
old enough to witness the rise and fall of Florida football. And I hate to say that despite being a Miami Hurricanes fan because it makes me feel old. And I hate feeling old. I'm only 22 years old. But I shouldn't be able to remember the days when Florida was a national championship contender watching the magical Tim Tebow with that 15. Something was special about that Tim Tebow 15, man. When I think of Florida, the only member I have of this program now is Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer. Outside of that, what does this program have? You know, like, I I just hate what Florida has become. And I really did expect this game against Miami to be a lot closer. Like, I knew that I was talking a lot of shit during the offseason, but I honestly thought that this was going to be a really tightly contested game. It was going to come down to the wire. I wasn't expecting a 41-17 to murder like what we saw. 